I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... Please, I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So, it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... You need to embrace this moment, right? <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared, for all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Uh. 
Even if you think you have, it's not real. <sighs> Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want, thank you. <laughs> You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out. However I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. <clears throat> Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? <clears throat> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. <sighs> You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Barrett. She's tougher than me. All right, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know, to rescue Aerith. <laughs>